guys, welcome back to Kerr Outdoors. Hey, today, since we have the opportunity, I thought I'd just uh, do a quick video on the visual and physical differences between a jackrabbit and a cottontail. This larger rabbit up here, this is a jackrabbit. And that's a, that's a decent sized jackrabbit. I've seen them get a little bit bigger than that. Um, and then this right here is a cottontail. And you can see a cottontail is much smaller than the jackrabbit. Now, notice too, the jackrabbit has these ginormous legs here. You've got these giant legs and these giant feet. Kind of looks like uh, a deer's leg that somehow got put on a rabbit. So they're just really big, the jackrabbit legs. Um, the cottontail you can see is overall much smaller. Now one of the things about the cottontail as well, you can see it's got a tail that looks like a little cotton ball. So it's one of the identifying features you can tell pretty quick when you see them out in the wild as they're running away from you. If you see a little uh, cotton ball looking tail, you know that it's probably a cotton tail. Now it's a really important to know the difference between these two, especially here in our state, because the cotton tail is protected and has a season, and the jackrabbit you can hunt all year long. Um, now... I'm hoping to eat both these guys, and we'll kind of we'll see if they're looking good enough to eat after we clean them. But I'm not too worried because, as you can see, we've got a lot of snow out today, and uh, the temperature right now is actually below freezing. So, when it gets this cold, if these rabbits were diseased, it's kind of my feeling that they probably would have died a couple of months ago, as they've been living in the snow here for a few months. Um, you know, one of the most common diseases you have to worry about for rabbits whenever you're uh, Kind of pretty much wherever you're at is uh, I believe called tularemia and you can correct me if I'm saying that incorrectly but uh, it's a bacterial infection that you kind of have to watch out for but like I said I'm not super worried because of the temperature if these rabbits were sick I think they wouldn't have survived out here anyway you can kind of see now you've got this uh, so you've got Cottontail that's smaller, the jackrabbit's much bigger. And you notice too, the, the color of the jackrabbit tail, the jackrabbit just kind of got more of a darker uh, brownish tail. Cottontail has this little white cotton ball tail. It's kind of interesting if you take a look at these jackrabbit's ears up here. This thing has been through some stuff. That is not from today. There's a little bit of blood right there, but this split in that ear did not happen today. Um, so this guy's has been out here and been through some stuff, but um, I think they both look pretty good. I'm excited to get them cleaned up and get them in the pot, but I thought I'd just give you a quick visual sort of difference between a cottontail and a jackrabbit. Cottontails have a season. Uh, jackrabbits are legal in my state uh, 365 days a year. So it is it is cottontail season right now. So we're, we're good to go with both of these. So. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this, and check out some of our other videos where we've uh, been hunting, and uh, have a great day, and be safe.